today is World Food Day and we are delighted here at ICPA to offer our support to this important initiative. And given that the focus this year is on migrants, we really feel for that, particularly uh, many of the countries that we work in, in the Middle East, North Africa, and parts of Afri uh, Southern Africa. We know that migration, um, internally displaced people, as well as those that have ventured across borders, is a real issue. And food security and water security are challenges that need to be addressed using both technology and institutional skills. Here at ICPA, we are aware that many migrations start with environmental stress, some sort of climate extreme event we're seeing um, increasingly being some of the last um, challenges that then bring people to migrate. Here at ICPA, we have a program funded by USAID working across the MENA region, uh, working with key partners, including the University of Nebraska's National Drought Mitigation Center, the FAO, and the Dietary Water for Food Institute, bringing international experience of managing droughts within a regional context and then working with uh, local partners on bringing the whole range of um, frameworks that are needed to address drought. So some of the work focuses on developing technology for drought monitoring and in a number of the countries there are now operating implemented uh, drought monitoring systems. That's the beginning part of managing drought. The second part involve understanding where and who are the most vulnerable communities and sectors and that's work that we're undertaking now because often migrants come from those most vulnerable areas. And then the third area that we are working with the countries are developing new policies and programs so when the next droughts come there are already uh, decided actions that will help alleviate the circumstances for those people most affected by drought. We know that this ongoing program uh, will help uh, stem migration. We know that it's often that uh, the, the drought that has caused the loss of sea capital, loss of crops, loss of um, animals that has led people to migrate. So on this World Food Day uh, we want to send our wishes to the UN and to um, let people know that we really are trying all we can to address some of the issues that lead to migration.